this next question is about affordable housing. What do you think is an affordable rent for, say, a two-bedroom apartment in the area, and how would you work to get more affordable housing in Madison? So, affordable rent for a two-bedroom, I honestly, I don't know what that would be because I haven't been in the market for that for a long time. Um, but I do know that a very large portion of our residents in Dane County spend over 50% of their annual income on rent, and that is a huge problem. It's a problem for working class people, it's a problem for people who are getting priced out of their homes, and it's a problem for families like mine whose kids may want to come home in the future and uh, want to buy a house or be able to afford or rent for an apartment. Um, so when it comes to solving the housing crisis, it's really important to increase all types of housing across the market. So market rate housing, working family housing, affordable housing are all important. And being able to work with developers to create communities that our communities want to live in is a big part of how we can have our neighborhoods thrive. Um, but those additional housing units are critical to be able to avoid going into a full-blown housing crisis. Uh, the actual dollar amount is going to change depending upon it being downtown or further out. I think that it has to reflect um, the needs of the individuals that are renting that housing, depending upon if it's a housing first option, if it's uh, a just a for regular affordable or if it's a market rate housing project, uh, we need to take all that into consideration. Um, on top of that, I, I think just to step aside onto housing first a little bit because it pertains slightly. Um, housing first is one of the things that have been going across the country and it's a, it's a great program. I do think that one of the things that we need to look at in doing housing first is that we also have to look at a little bit of a housing second and third. Um, housing isn't the only issue. It's not going to solve homelessness. Um, people become homeless for a multitude of different reasons, whether it's an injury, whether it's a health problem, whether it's addiction, whether it's uh, issues in their family. And we need to make sure that the housing we're providing and the locations that we're providing are not only addressing that housing need, because if you've solved the housing need, those other problems are still there. And so we have to make sure that we're addressing those individual problems to be able to solve that, whether it's that they need job training and to move on to a new career because their career um, was is no longer in this economy, which happens sometimes. We need to make sure to, to transfer those people. If it's addiction, we need to make sure that we're getting them that addiction help. Um, so partnering on those on those levels and making sure that we do it as much of a local level as we can, we've got all sorts of great social services and uh, organizations that are helping these issues in our city. I would like to look to those organizations that have the most knowledge of the issues and the most knowledge of the local issues to be able to attack those problems.